Gamma Java students, in this video, we will provide more information in details about the course Frontend Programming with Angular. It's my pleasure to present you Svetlomir Miloslavov. He is our trainer who will be leading this course. Please, Svetlomir, tell us to, uh, our students more about yourself, your experience, and how many years you have been working in the IT industry. Hello, everyone. Uh, first, uh, my name is quite long, but people just call me Leo. You can call me Leo as well. And um, I've been doing software development for uh, basically forever, I think since 2008 or something. Uh, I started working as a freelancer. Eventually, I had built my own company and I had clients using all kinds of different technologies, which was a pretty wild journey, but uh, it was also very uh, satisfying. And I managed to learn a lot of different uh, technologies including Angular and uh, other JavaScript uh, frameworks. I guess uh, the important things uh, for you are that uh, I've been teaching since uh, 2012 and uh, I've been part of the New Horizons team since uh, 2018. Um, and probably one of the most important things is that uh, I've been part of the previous uh, Gita editions. Uh, I've led over 10 courses. Uh, it's probably more close than 20, uh, a lot of students. So uh, let's say that we have some experience with this uh, kind of teaching, with this kind of project. And hopefully we can take this experience and transfer it in the course that uh, we're going to be having with you, which is Angular front end programming. Thank you very much, Svetomir. This was very helpful for our students. And please tell us, according to your observations, what is demand for such professionals like front end programmer with Angular? Okay, so uh, let's start with this, that uh, Angular is a modern JavaScript uh, framework and it's uh, used to build modern web uh, applications. Uh, it provides a lot of benefits um, that help you uh, write code easier and more effectively. Uh, we're going to look into those uh, during the course in much more detail, but I'm just going to mention a few of them very quickly. Uh, it provides things like two-way binding, component-based architecture, uh, TypeScript integration, robust tooling, and uh, probably one of the most important things is that uh, Angular is uh, maintained and backed by Google. We all know what Google is, uh, which creates a huge ecosystem and very strong community. Uh, this is important because uh, if you have any problems, you have any questions, if you're looking for information, documentation, anything like that, it's very likely that it's already there and it's going to be relatively easy uh, to find it. Uh, as a result, the demand for Angular is actually uh, quite huge. Uh, there's a lot of uh, large companies and enterprises that adopted Angular because it allows them to build uh, scalable, maintainable, and robust applications. Um, and uh, there are Angular projects developed in many different uh, industries. Uh, so let's say uh, we move on with the course, you graduate, you take the certificate, you'll be able to choose in many different areas uh, with many different interesting topics uh, to apply to uh, just because there is a very high demand for uh, Angular developers, as I said, in many different uh, industries. Thank you very much. And the next question is, uh... Tell us a bit more about the course. What topics will be covered and what practical exercise it will include? Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on basically every important aspect um, that will allow you to create uh, full-blown Angular applications. You can see the list on the screen right now. Uh, it's not extensive list. It's basically just narrowing down the more important topics. There's much more than that uh, that we're going to cover. And uh, this time around, because I said that I've led courses before, uh, we're going to try and incorporate a little bit more coding sessions uh, during the uh, course, uh, which is hopefully going to allow you to code alongside me and give you a little bit more hands-on experience uh, when creating uh, Angular applications. Uh, now, one thing that I'm going to mention here is that we're not going to have homeworks during the course, but one of your tasks uh, listed here as well on the screen is that you have to develop your own project at the end. Uh, the sooner you start, the better. So basically, this is going to be your homework, and you can start uh, creating and adding things to this project as we go along with the course. Uh, when we learn a new concept, your homework could be, let's go and add this concept to uh, the project, and then this is going to make it much more easier for you uh, at the end, because uh, when we get to the end of the course, your project is probably going to be uh, ready. Thank you very much. 
And uh, how would you define the prerequisites for this course? What skills should potential students already have to get the most from this course? Okay, so uh, what we're looking for is uh, some basic knowledge of uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Uh, those are quite important. And we're going to assume that you know enough about them. You don't need to be expert, uh, but you know en enough about them to find you around uh, in the code that we're going to start um, working with. Uh, some understanding of TypeScript is also going to be quite welcome, but uh, when we start the course, probably in the very first lecture, uh, we're going to do a few short slides uh, with a refresher for some of the most important, uh, and I, I would call them advanced JavaScript features that we're going to be using in Angular all the time. And we're going to talk a little bit about TypeScript as well. So even if you have absolutely no knowledge in them, uh, you, you'll be able to, to get uh, some, some basics uh, in those slides. Uh, those are basically the must have must haves, but uh, you can also benefit from previous knowledge that you have in different uh, programming languages. If you know a little bit about object oriented programming, if you know a little bit of uh, Git version control, this is going to be helpful. And anything that you've done with uh, front end and web development uh, is also going to be a huge plus. Uh, but even if you have no knowledge in those areas, we're going to be learning them as we go during the course. Great, thank you very much. And uh, what international certificate will our students get after successfully passing the exam at the end of the course? So uh, the exam is going to be provided by uh, peoplecert.org. Uh, you can go and check this uh, website online. Uh, the big plus that they have is that uh, they're one of the few certified uh, authorities out there that uh, provide Angular certificates. Uh, that, uh, let me put it this way, that are valuable because uh, their process of uh, taking the exam is, is quite uh, robust. Uh, they make sure that uh, it is you who are taking the exam, that there's no cheating, things like that. And uh, we're going to talk a lot about the exam during the course. We're also going to have a, a preparation session specifically for the exam uh, because basically this is going to be our uh, main performance measure. But uh, if you manage to take the exam, uh, you get a certificate, and this certificate, at least in my opinion, is a huge plus to uh, add to your portfolio uh, when you apply to different positions and job because it shows that you've learned something that's uh, that's new, that's uh, current, and uh, it's probably give you an advantage among uh, other people that apply for the same positions. Great, thank you very much. And what positions are suitable for specialists who just completed this course? Well, after you complete the course, uh, you can definitely start looking for uh, opportunities as a junior uh, Angular developer. Um, so uh, based on your previous previous experience, of course, you can probably start looking for uh, even more, but this is going to be a very solid ground for you to start exploring uh, different positions in the uh, IT sector. In the next question is uh, what can be the next steps for the students after they take this course oh the very first thing is uh, definitely update your cv with the certificate because as i said this is going to be a huge uh, plus going forward uh, and basically advertising and promoting yourself uh, as uh, an it professional uh, the next thing that you should do is uh, you should keep learning uh, maybe that's not new to you but uh, that's how the it sector works there is new technologies and new versions of Angular that are constantly uh, released and presented out there. So there's always something new uh, to explore and learn. Um, so you should have this mindset. Whatever happens in this course, uh, whatever you learn, you should keep learning after that happens. Uh, the other thing that you should do is get some uh, hands-on experience, uh, maybe develop even some applications uh, on your own that you can use as a portfolio to show to potential uh, employers. And uh, the knowledge is going to be enough to help you decide whether or not you want to continue pursuing Angular opportunities. Maybe you want to pivot to other JavaScript frameworks, which we're going to mention during the course, uh, or just uh, build on your knowledge and uh, delve further into Angular. Thank you very much for this information, Svetomir. And thank you very much for taking time to join us today. Thank you as well. And uh, I'll see you in the course.
Thank you very much. I believe this interview had a lot of available information that uh, could uh, help our students to decide in their application. Thank you and see you Thank again you. in your training. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.